to talk about the within visual range mode we have to go up because some of the sub modes have cues displayed on your HUD now there is two ways of engaging this air combat mode you can go to the button and actually click it or you can just hit D on your keybar and that will engage the dogfight mode there it is it will automatically go to the first sub mode which is the ACM 20 this will scan on a 30 to 20 field of view on your HUD basically is the things that you can see in your HUD area and it has a box in between for the center the second one is the slew mode it's pretty close to the MCM20 but it will give you a scan pattern so now you can move your cursor around and check at specific areas it will also display a cross on your HUD and it will have a circle in the middle telling you that's the center of your 20 by 60 scan pattern that way you can scan it right now I'm moving the arrows to scan around that area and that way you can scan a little bit better than the ACM 20 now the third one will be our boresight which is one of my favorites this is just a beam going straight ahead of your jet and it has a cross what you have to do is just put that cross in top of your target and it will automatically locked on it and the last one is your vertical scan which is the ACM 60 this will have a beam coming straight out of your aircraft is very useful for scanning aircraft that are above you especially when you're in a dock fight and you don't know where the other aircraft went and it also and it'll display a stray line in the middle of your HUD. And that's it. Those are all the sub modes on the ACM radar within visual range. Well, this is the moment you all been waiting for. We're gonna engage some targets, have some activity on our threat warning receiver right over there. Have a MiG-29 and I think it's a MiG-23. They are in range, within 40 nautical miles. We are on a 60 search angle and we are four on a scan bar and we have a bass scan you see all those targets so they are kind of close to us when you see the targets close to the bottom mean they are closer so you can either move your cursor down but it takes too long or just decrease your range by 20 maybe 20 maybe 10 so we have two targets three targets into our 10 nautical mile radius so let's take care of our immediate threat which is those two guys right there so let's by clicking on D 
of dogfight. We're gonna go into our dogfight mode. And let's go into my favorite war site. Which is one, two, there it is. Now he's already searching and scanning for that one. And we have this symbol on our HED meaning he is locked on and ready to fire. So now we're gonna go to our weapons and we have engaged the Simewander 9M. But before firing let's check out some other data like right there. That is the speed of the target to 88 and it's closing on us at 118 knots and now let's go back to our right MFD and let's display our HSD and see what it says it's showing us the target right there in front of us now that just listen for the roar of your M9 and he's ready to fire so fire and shift 7 to follow your missile. There it goes. There's the plane. And congratulations, you have the first kill. That was short range missiles. Now let's try some um, AMRAM missiles. Let's decrease our range to 20. And you can see here a couple of MiG 25s at 11 o'clock. And they're here. So you're going to move your cursor over the target. As soon as you see the yellow number, is the altitude. And you just hit 0 to lock it. And now that target is locked. So you're going to go back out and there you are. That's how you can see more or less what the planes are. So start turning your jet in that direction. And there it is, that square is your target. Let me show you a little bit better. Let's just fire a missile real quick. There he goes. There's a couple planes flying around. So how are you going to find them? So um, go back to CRM mode and look for them. If you go to 20 right there, there's your target. So just move the cursor over there on top of it. And as soon as you see the altitude, like right there, engage it by pressing zero again. And there's your target. Now you can go here to the other one and it will tell you more or less based on your position where the target is. And if you go to your hood, you will have a circle with an X telling you that your target is to the left and also this Q across with a line telling you the direction where the target is. And that's it my friends. You have no more targets. You are clear. I hope this helped and the next tutorial will be ground targets and air to ground radar.